Yo, what's going on Leaf Nation? It's Leaf back again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with episode 2 of Monopoly HUD and last episode we went through a lot. So we uh, we did open up packs, we played two games, won one, lost one. Now look in here, uh, I played games off camera, um, won two, lost a couple others. We're now in Div 7 which isn't the greatest but that's fine with the team I have, I'm not complaining. Uh, we did end up getting more coins from completing a bunch of objectives and all that stuff. And we got a mini pack right now, which we're going to open quickly before we roll the dice for the first time this episode. We got this from playing five Rivals games. So let's see what's in here and uh, then we're good to go. And then we do have some comments that we have to uh, read together because... Uh, some of you guys made some very good suggestions towards the series as we get nothing in this pack. So last episode, I did ask what I should be doing with my X Factor Kyle Connor, uh, how I should upgrade him. And um, Kyle in the comments actually helped me out. Uh, he said, if you score with Kyle Connor, you should upgrade him. I actually really like this idea. Alex below also said pretty great idea something uh, like that or two points uh, game should unlock a power up card per se where he could either use now or keep for later as long as it's used on the same player so I do like that I think we're gonna go with um, every time he scores we get to upgrade him until we max him out I think that's a very cool idea um, so thank you Kyle and thank you Alex and then I asked you guys when I should be able to do uh, the X Factor uh, choice pack because you get to do it every month and Zachary in the comments said you should be able to do the X Factor set whenever you have the gold because it's only once a month no need to put it on the board in my opinion hey, listen man um, I want more X Factors on my team I like this idea we're gonna stick with it so thank you guys for your comments and your suggestions you guys uh, definitely helped out the series so thank you all right so we are rolling for the first time uh, this episode as you can see on the board we were left off on that one premium pack on the left side of the board so we're gonna turn on the board for the first time here we are gonna roll for the first time hopefully it's something good um all right so we're waiting for my phone to be all good with it roll the dice and we get a two so a two is open up one premium pack we're back to opening up only one premium pack which definitely isn't ideal but it is what it is so heading into the store here one premium pack hopefully there's something there i mean look at all these special packs we could open whatever one premium pack we're looking to upgrade the team something good here yay we've only opened up three premium packs since rolling on the board so we've had like very little luck let's see what we can get here um left wing i don't know if he'd make the team to be honest come on something brandon Peary. oh my god brandon Peary. Uh, could possibly make the team. Frankie Corrado definitely won't make the team, I don't think. I think we're good on defense, man, in all honesty. Looking at anything else here. Oh, a Todd Bertuzzi. Um, again, I don't think he makes the team, but let's see what we can do with these guys. So we just brought in Nolan Stevens last uh, game, and Brandon Peary is already re replacing him. So it's a plus one upgrade. We will definitely take that. He'll be playing third line minutes there. And then Todd Bertuzzi is definitely better than Ross Johnston. So that's two upgrades there, which is nice. And... Uh, Let's see if Frankie Corrado fits the team. He definitely does not. So we are good with those upgrades. That is it. But since you guys made those suggestions now, I'm going to see if we can do an X-Factor choice pack here. Realistically, none of these guys are going to make the team for the time being. So you know what? We might as well go and get an X-Factor choice pack. We're hoping for someone who can shoot right-handed because we need some people uh, who can shoot right-handed on our team right now. So before we head into the first game, time for a next factor player choice pack. Give me something good here, EA. Matthews, McDavid, Dreisaitl, any of these guys. First card, Jake Ensel, not the greatest. Let's go with the last one here. Last one. Artemi Panarin, that isn't bad. All right. Sebastian Ajo, not too bad as well. We'll go here. Patrice Bergeron, so far I think we're going to go Panarin. And Alex Ovechkin. Okay, so it's either Panarin or Ovi right now. Looking at Ovi, we can get him to an 87 eventually, uh, which is nice. Ovi would be very nice. I don't know if I really like his build. Panarin doesn't seem like a bad choice here, man. We can get him up to an 87 as well uh, eventually. I think we're going to go with the bread man, uh, to be honest, dude. Um, you know, okay, let's uh, dismiss all this. I just want to see his synergies. He's got Magician. He's pretty fast. Uh, good looking card, man. We're going to take Artemi Panarin. I do not regret it. He shoots right-handed too. It just works out in our favor. Oh, the bread man is coming in for Anthony Lu Luciani. 
Musani, sure. And uh, we have two X Factors on one line here, so let's save the changes there. Looking at our abilities, we do have uh, Make It Snappy activated, so it advances accuracy when taking snapshots while skating for Panarin. And we have Wheels activated for Kyle O'Connor, which is advanced agility, speed, and acceleration when skating with the puck, um, which is just great. So I'm really liking this. Uh, let's head into the first game of the episode here. So at the time I'm recording this, we have an hour 50 until we can rank up. Uh, at this point, playing two games today, I think the... Uh, the sad truth is we're either going to finish in bronze or silver, iron at the very least. So uh, let's go get that rank. Let's go get these two games. Let's try to get some packs uh, for next video. First game of the episode, he has Blake Wheeler, Barkoff, and Howie Morenz. My God, why are we playing good teams in Div 7? We need a win here, man. At, at the very least, enough to get us a lot of rivals points. So the five goals um, would be great, but let's see how this goes. I don't think I'm scoring five goals with a team like this. I puck up, Chris Tierney. Drop it back. There you go. Take that shot. Good try. Who does he have a net? Is that Johnny Bauer in net? I think that's Johnny Bauer. Here we go. Take the shot. Oh, he just missed it, man. If he had some sort of accuracy, that was going bar dizzle. Back on defense here. Good bump from Muzzin. Good hit from Muzzin. We love the physical presence he brings. Good stick lift there. Let's get a line change in. Bring in uh, the newest addition to the team, Artemi Panarin. Good shot by Artemi. We need a hit there. Good shit. Are they calling that charging on Byfield, really? Ah, oh, man, that's tough. All right, time to kill it off. Short first shift for Panarin. You hate to see it. Oh, no. Oh, good pass. What a save. We need to get this puck here. Oh, no, I didn't get the bump. Good save again. Good puck chop. He's out in front. Someone needs to pick this puck up. No. No. And that's, that's just so unfortunate. That's twice where we defended it. We touched the puck instead of picking it up. We just lost it. It's going to happen with low-rated players like that. one nothing him. We need a huge shift from our second line here. Try to tie it up. No more penalties, man. That, that first one just did not help us out. We're looking up. Jake Muzzin. Oh, dude, he just missed that. Let's go, Muzzin. Oh, Muzzin's off to the races here. Take that, Jake Muzzin. What a rush. Assisted from Justin Hall, I'm pretty sure. I love them together in this game. 1-1. One, one. What a rush. We will take that, Jake Muzzin. Beautiful. The icing on the cake. I, not really. It's 1-1, one, one, but we'll take it. I mean, looking at the stats, dude, we're getting dominated. It is so hard to play with this team. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is super hard. And that's a hook from Tyler Mott. I said no more penalties, and we take a stupid penalty. Oh, dude, we need more packs to get more players. I'm going to keep saying that this episode. This is so rough. Good stuff. No. That gets through. Oh, I need a better. T no, it's fine. It's fine. 2-1. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I'm so, I'm just so tilted. I'm just so tilted. I want to quit out of this game. Quitting out wouldn't be the smartest thing though because I'm not going to get any rivals points. So I got to keep continuing to play this. I'm going to get blown out. I know, I knew this was going to happen with a team like this, but it's just annoying in D7. Get that across. Justin Hall, my God. It's our defense controlling the play today. It's actually crazy that our defense is doing everything all right well we have a third period to try to score three goals and come back it's it's i don't think it's doable but yeah i've seen crazier things i think and it's a goal i'm surprised that wasn't okay chris tierney and the other player there just looked at the puck and went the other way Okay, he literally just came down and shot it. Get me out of this game. Just get me out of this game. I fucking beg EA. Just, just fucking get me out of this game. Oh, I counted. I hated every moment of this game. I want to erase this from my memory. We got dominated. As expected, he had a better team than us. I don't know how many times I need to tell you guys this. I need more packs. I need a better team because this is this is this is hurting my head. Let's just try and forget about that game. I had a feeling we were going to lose, but I didn't think we were going to get blown out like that. In all honesty, my I'm at an all time low right now. 
dice give me something good here man i beg all right looking at the side of the board here man um i mean if we get a one we get special pox other than that the most we can get here is two pox so that's kind of tough but here we go rolling the dice for the second and last time of this episode we get a one oh so it says special packs which means we can open up multiple now packs i'm gonna say two so we can open up two special packs now looking at the store here how many packs do we have that are special uh one two three four five six so let's do a random number generator for the first for the two packs that we get to open uh so let's do that real quick all right generate a number from one to six for the first pack and we get a five so a five would be an elite pack all right and then a three which would be a 15k pack cool so the 15k pack isn't the greatest so we're gonna go with this first and then we do get to open up an elite pack which has five 80 plus overall players which is huge so here we go first pack we're finally opening up something good hopefully it rewards us now here the dice the the board actually rewarded us here they they had to feel bad after that 9-1 loss man so we're hoping for something good something that uh, can help the team out big time not a 74 to a 78 give me an 80 nick bonino i didn't know he was on the sharks by the way we will take that that's an 80 overall that can definitely help us out 750 coins which is nice uh, really cool looking goalie mask there uh, any other good gold players that we could throw into the team because lord knows we need them we're down to our final three cards now and nothing so a nick bonino will definitely help us out we'll take that and then we have an elite pack to open which if we go look at it again is a 500 point pack 10 items with at least 5 80 plus overall players 34 percent chance of getting an 83 plus so come on ea give me something huge to help the team out here man i'm begging you flyers alumni jersey ricard raquel that's actually a very good gold card uh he's actually very speedy 86 speed 86 xl that will definitely help us and he's right-handed which we definitely did need as well cal peterson we don't need goaltenders man we really don't but we'll take a peterson i guess uh we have what three more 80 plus overall players dmitry orlov that will help out our defense that's actually an upgrade um on our third pairing um we have two more gold players kerfoot not too bad and a travis konechny so some very big pulls here that will definitely help out the team big time man so alexander kerfoot's coming in for david deharnay he did score a goal for us this series but it's time for him to go god's be brother and then nick bonino 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 will be coming in for ryan mckinnis there um finally just some decent gold cards man and quinton byfield will be demoted to the fourth line unfortunately that's just how the cookie crumbles my man looking at a right-handed side ricard raquel's coming in for quenville oh my god that is so nice to see that's a plus 10 upgrade man that's actually huge and then travis connectney's coming in for this guy all right i'm not gonna even say your name dude again just a very nice upgrade to have to the team and then Dmitry Orlov is coming in for that guy. I'm not saying your name as well. Dmitry, I'll call you by your first name and he can stay there. So the lines are looking, I mean, the team's looking better in general. We got Ricard Raquel with Tierney and Mott. Kyle Connor with Kerfoot and Panarin. Konechny with Benino and Piri. Bertuzzi with Byfield and Evan over there. And then we got Hall Muzzin, uh, Vadanin, Pullman, Redman, Orlov. And uh, looking at our abilities here. We have a lot of activated. Tape to tape will now be activated for uh, Travis Konechny, which is advanced power and accuracy on all passes with it, uh, within vision. So that's very nice to see. Uh, with that, we head into the second game and we're hoping for a better game. We can only go up from here, like realistically. All right, so if we can get more than 430 points here, we can head into bronze. I, I think we're gonna finish iron this, this week, which sucks, but it's just how the cookie crumbles, man. I just need a win, man. I need my morale to go up here. And we're playing another really good team. John Carlson, Brad Marchand, and Matt Barzell. My God, dude, this, this better not be another game where I wanna cry. Jake Muzzin, the quick pass there, beautiful. Mott, we're fine. Tierney, take that shot. Got your Demko in net. Got you. Go, Benino, please. Bump. Thank you. Bump again. My players don't know how to support after a hit, eh? This is great. This is great. Good goal. My defense. Oh, my God. I, I, I should have maybe taken a break after that last game because I'm still just so frustrated from it. My God, one nothing. All right. That's fine. It's a new game. It's okay. My defense... Just wasn't existent there. There you go. To Byfield, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
It's literally just not my day today. It's literally just not my day. I should have took a fat break. First period, even game, I gotta shoot more. Simple, that's all I'm gonna say. Pass, please. Thank you, Kerfoot. Problem is, no one's with him. Panarin is, though, and that's a... That's an upgrade. That's an upgrade for Artemi. 1-1 one, one hockey game. Oh my god, that makes me so happy, man. Because I was getting so frustrated. Good pass from Kerfoot. The new addition over to Artemi Panarin. 1-1 one, one hockey game. We're back in it. See, like, horrible def... Well, I don't know where that puck went. Horrible defense by me. I'm not... Like, I need to break that puck out. But he poked that after I sauced the pass. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what to say. 2-1. I'm just... Maybe I'm just playing bad today. I don't know what it is. Shoot that. How do you miss the net from there, Chris Tierney? Oh, I, I... Oh, man. I know we got upgrades, but this team is still so bad. All right. Again, just need a better period here. I really can't say much else. Across. Okay. How he just gets the stick in there, I hate. Chris Tierney, there it is, 2-2, my god. My god, we're still in this game, boys. We're still in this game. We're, we're clawing our way through, we're sticking in, and we're scoring goals. 2-2 hockey game, Chris Tierney gets, I think, his first of the series. Ricard Raquel also getting an assist in his debut here, so that's good. Out of boy, Piri. Out of front, Konechny almost. We need Benino to stay here with him. Get a little bump in. Beautiful back check from Benino. Vadenin's gone now after that great back check. Get that through. Konechny. Travis Konechny. 3-2. Let's go. That's what we needed. We're finally playing some good hockey. What a shift from Benino. Konechny getting his first in his first game. 3-2 hockey lead. That's our first lead of the whole episode. It feels great. Time to defend, man. One more would be great, but it's time to just focus up on defense here. How does he, where, how does, no, 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 I'm not allowing that, I'm sorry. 45 seconds, oh my god, I don't like this, I do not like this. He's taking a timeout, fair enough, we got our X-Factors on, so I'm, I'm fine with the lines we have on. Artemi. Kyle Connor. Kyle Connor's getting an upgrade this video too. Connor and Panarin scoring a goal, we needed something like that. More importantly, a two-goal lead late in the game. Things you'll love to see. Konechny. Oh, Konechny almost got another one. Piri off the post. But that's fine. We win a game. Oh, my God. I didn't think we were going to win a game this episode. We did it, though. How many rivals points do we get from that? We're definitely in bronze. To say we're going to hold it is a whole different story. But, um, I mean, we will definitely take bronze ranking here. We might be able to hold that, too. Big win for the team, which we love to see. And looking here, the Breadman with a goal and an assist, and Kyle Connor with a goal. So they both get one overall upgrade, which is absolutely huge. And looking at the stats, it was a close game, to be fair. So quickly, before we go and upgrade our guys, we completed a bunch of objectives, which is going to give us a bunch of coins. Uh, so that is Gray Weekly. That's a 1,000 coins there. And then Milestone Complete Objectives is a base pack. So let's open up a base pack. We're sitting on 12.2K, uh, which is nice. Um, hopefully we can land on buy any player because I'm pretty sure we can get a pretty decent player But let's open up this base pack see what's in this base pack here uh, 750 coins so we add on to the coin total and that is about it up to 13k and some of those coins are gonna go to our X factors who both scored last episode or last game not episode so Panarin is gonna go up to a 78 that's 500 coins right there so that is a huge upgrade as we unlock an achievement there so Panarin up to a 78 and Kyle Connor gets a plus one upgrade as well that'll cost us 500 coins as well and he is now up to a 76 so some big upgrades onto the team there uh, our X factors getting uh, a better overall rating um, and a good way to end the episode there with a win anyways guys that's going to be it for today's monopoly hot episode if you guys did enjoy be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here make sure to subscribe button down below we're on the road to 4,000 subscribers and guys sorry if i was kind of down in game one and uh you know i was just holding back my rage that game was just so uh just not fun man so uh i apologize for that but hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode that is going to be it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace